it's not in the spirit of it, is it? When, when at the moment in lockdown, everybody is just wanting to, you know, we're in this together, that's what it feels like. However, when we yeah, see yeah. someone like you out there beside a bull, we're not in it together. It's not in lockdown spirit. Yeah, I think, I think what you've got to understand is my job. So my job is to motivate people. Do you know what I mean? If I was, if I was going to be lazy, if I was going to sit back, if I didn't, if I couldn't be bothered to provide a service, and sometimes it's a free service at the minute, I'm providing free workouts on my Instagram. Um, I could just sit back and just think, do you know what? I'll wait till gym's open. But because I've See, got such a high demand of young girls, this that image I want doesn't to do motivate it work. me. It makes me feel utterly jealous. Like I'm just so jealous. I just I want mean, to feel the sun on my skin. That's all I want. I've lo I would love nothing no, that more was to see that. That was essential. What you posted there was essential. I mean, yeah, there's loads of videos on my Instagram. Obviously, that was just the one me riding a camel. But you know what I mean? Um, I think if you ever had a look, obviously, had a look at my Instagram, you'd see workouts. But I think in a world where you can be anything, be kind. And I think a lot of people forget about that. Um, and my job is to help people get fit and be motivational, whether it's in the house or it's in Dubai. But can I just say something? When um, you say be kind, mind. like when we see how stretched the NHS is and those nurses that are working really, really hard and all they are saying is, please stay home, please stay home, do the right thing, stay home. And you're saying be kind. Are you being kind to them by encouraging others to travel for what you deem as essential work? Yeah, I mean, it's not necessarily that I'm trying to influence, sorry, influence anyone to come out. It's just the fact that I'm doing my kind of thing. I mean, if anything, I'm getting people motivated in the house. I'm not saying, come on, let's get out, let's go outside. Like, if I was in England, I could do, I could do classes outside, I could do... Early in the morning. Early in the morning. What's going on people? It's your boy Cam, Topical Juice, and I am back with another interesting video today. I'm gonna get straight into this. I don't wanna, I don't wanna waste no more time. You've seen the video at the start of this video. I'm sure you've got some thoughts, I'm sure you've got some feelings, I'm sure you've got some emotions about it, and I'm sure you wanna know what your boy TJ's gonna say. So, <laughs> joking. Now, I've got very interesting opinions on this, and I'm gonna explore both sides. Now, first things first, this girl is a donor. I'm not, I'm not gonna cuss her out, I'm not gonna undermine her, I'm not, she's just a donor, I don't agree with her. What she said, I disagree with, but I'm gonna talk about it. But I also, I don't wholeheartedly agree with what Holly was saying as well though. Listen, let me, let me put it out there right now. You flying to Dubai, and posting your nice glamorous pictures in Dubai while the rest of the country is rotting in, in jail, that ain't essential. But I'm not gonna crucify you for that. Now, let's just get straight into this. Now, first things first, let's explore what this girl said. She said three main things that I wanna talk on. She said that she wanted to leave the UK for her mental health reasons, that's one thing. The second thing is um, her job and how her job is to motivate people, people and she wanted to do that in Dubai. She mentions that, I don't know if she mentioned it in the video, but she mentions it in the actual full thing, in the full interview, that her work is essential. So first things first, yeah. The, the second two things that she said about influencers being essential is pure bollocks, yeah. You are, you're lying. Like, we all know you flying out to Dubai on your beautiful, in your beautiful apartment, your beautiful hotel by your beautiful infinity pool, that is not essential work. You are literally flying and you're, you're quote unquote breaking the rules because as Holly said, we're kind of meant to be in, in this together as a, as a nation, we're meant to be following certain rules, following certain expectations. But again, I'm, I'm gonna explore the other side to that by the way, so just hold tight, hold tight. But just going off of what Holly said, yeah, to an extent, yeah, we are kind of all in this together and you flying out, that's not essential work. Essential work is, Baz, my friend Baz, who works on a pharmacist, in a, as a pharmacist in a hospital. People on the NHS, front lines, doctors, things like that. People that are working on the supermarkets daily to give us food and drink to live and survive. That's essential work. You flying out so you can post pictures on Instagram to motivate people is not essential work. As Holly said, which I agree with Holly in this one, it, it makes us jealous. <laughs> if anything, it makes us jealous. Me personally, I'm not a jealous person like that. I don't actually get jealous. I'll just be like, I'm looking at it thinking, damn, I wish I was out there. But I'm not gonna be commenting like, oh, hey, hey, hey. Cause that's not me, I just don't care. Let everyone else live their life, it's none of my business. But it's not essential. It's not essential whatsoever. You're completely chatting out your ass there. It's not essential. I forgot what this girl's called already now, but whatever the title says, this girl with the title, her name, it, it, she's chatting shit. And the reason why she's chatting shit is because she, she was talking about this interview about how like I'm providing a service, you have to understand my business, I'm here to motivate people, I'm providing a service, I'm giving free workouts, things like that. You can do free workouts in the comfort of your own home. You can do free workouts in the comfort of your own home. I work out every single day in the comfort of my own home. If I ain't doing bodyweight exercise in my bedroom, I'm, I'm downstairs boxing. I'm downstairs in the garage thing with the little bar thing that I do pull-ups on, you know what I'm saying? Where, where the issue is here, 
is that you're just you're just fumbling. You're fumbling. The, the, where I was scraping the barrel for content today, you were scraping the barrel for excuses, darling. Now, unfortunately, that's just not gonna run. People can see through that. People, people don't, unfortunately, you have to empathize. People don't have the means to get out there like you. People ain't got that fly and do buy money right now, you see me? Most people are just kind of respecting the rules and ain't really trying to spend and, and we ain't actually don't have that luxury to go to uh, Dubai right now, just cause. Now, what I believe she should have said here is you wanted to leave for mental health reasons, whatever. Why would you still upset a lot of people? Most people, a lot of people understand a bit more because no one wants to be in lockdown. So people would understand a little bit more that you left, um, especially for mental health reasons. And don't get it twisted, yeah? People are going on holiday still. And I'm gonna tap into that because I'm, I, you, know, you know your boy TJ, I'm, I look at both sides, man. You can't just be grilling from one side. You have to look at both sides. Now, as I was saying, if you were saying about mental health, people, a lot more people would defend you in it because you're not, you're not trying to justify it with, with stupid excuses. You're just being a bit more honest. You left. Okay, Piers Morgan's been on holiday. Literally, the health minister himself has broken the rules. You know, people break the rules. I'm not saying it's right. Don't, don't, don't be putting words in my mouth. I'm not saying it's right. Trolls and people that aren't smart, smart enough to comprehend looking at different sides. Um, I'm not saying it's right, but it's understandable. When you're scraping the barrel for bullshit excuses, people can see right through it and it's just not really a good look. If you'd gone and said it's for mental health, eh, what can people say? Because at the end of the day, yeah, and actually, you know what? This leads me on to the next, the other side of the argument. At the end of the day, who wouldn't go Dubai if they had the opportunity? Seriously, let's be real here. All you people cussing her out, saying, oh, this girl, oh, look at these influencers, this, that, and the other, oh, oh while we're all rotting away in England, oh, while we're all rotting away and we're all meant to be in this together. No, just because we can't go, yeah, and she can, you're, you're being all loud and leery. If you could go, if you had the money to go to Dubai for a week or Dubai for two weeks or whatever, or if it made sense, you would go. Let's be real here. Let's 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 talk let's talk turkey. Let's call a spade a spade. I'm I'm dishing out all the I'm dishing out all the flipping sayings today. Let's be real here. Let's talk turkey. I would not be here if I could if I if I didn't have a choice. I would if I had the money, I would be somewhere in the Caribbean right now. I would get a flag right now if I could. Caribbean's barely touched by Corona. Some ca some place in the Caribbean had one death, zero deaths, and just and just ten cases. I would go there. I've got an auntie in. Doha, Qatar, I would be right there right now, living it up safely with my auntie, away from this shithole that we're in right now. That is being real, and most of you would too, but you, but you, can't, but you ain't in the same situation, you ain't got the same luxury. So let's, 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 okay, I don't agree with this girl, do not get me wrong, I do not agree with this influencer, her saying that it's, it's essential, listen, if it was essential, your Instagram wouldn't be private, my love, you understand, you're, you're saying you're giving out these free workouts, are they free? Because I just tried to go on your Instagram, it was private, so it's not free for me, is it? <laughs> Donut. But anyway, so she's, she's chatting complete shit, yeah? But let's be real here. If we all had the opportunity to go, we would. Now, this is where I think um, Holly Willoughby is a bit unfair. Because this girl, yeah, made up, this girl tried to justify herself by saying, yeah, yeah, we should be kind and all that. I don't know where she's going with that. Then Holly then made a good point or made a point by saying, Okay, so you're talking about being kind, but are you being kind on the NHS when you're saying to people we should travel and X, Y, Z? I think that's a bit unfair, to be honest, H-Dog. I think it's unfair to, to suggest that influencers are a big part of the spike in corona cases. So you're telling me the NHS is stressed and pressured from influencers going to Dubai? Nah, nah, that's not really how it works, to be honest. In fact, the NHS has been stretched and the NHS has been under pressure before coronavirus even existed. So now coronavirus has, is existed, it does exist. You think that influencers are the reason why uh, NHS has been stressed or was it the failures of the government, uh, people doing illegal raves like the Hackney rave 24 hours ago or 48 hours ago, you know, thousands of people raving illegally. I think it's, I think it's probably those people there, maybe the people like when, when coronavirus first started, all those, all those thousands of people at the beach, you know, all them ones there. That's kind of the people that are probably responsible for the inflation, eat out to help out, shall we say. You know them ones there where you're encouraging people to eat out to get the economy. So let's 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 be let's 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 be a bit fair here. Let's, I think it's unkind. I think it's unfair to say, oh yeah, you uh, oh, you're being unkind by going to Dubai on the NHS. Okay, while I agree she's a donut and she shouldn't be out there and she shouldn't be promoting it the way she is and justifying it the way she is, 
I'm not going to put her. I'm not going to put her. I'm not going to say that she's at fault for, for for the NHS being stressed. It's it's not that. So, anyway, let me know what you lot think in it because ultimately, I'm in agreement with this morning or Good Morning Britain, wherever the hell she's on. Like, this morning, I think they're right. I don't. I don't really watch these shows in it. In fact, I don't watch these shows at all. I just have to see them on uh, Twitter. So ultimately, I'm in agreement. People shouldn't. People should be taking these rules seriously and things like that. But don't don't get it twisted. People are literally travelling every day. You put your favourite politicians, your favourite celebrities are travelling to their remote islands and they're doing their thing because they can. So if I could, I would. If you could, you would. Yeah. So let's be real. But ultimately, the way she justified it, no good, no good. So whatever your name was, I forgot, I forgot what my name is. Um, Sherid, Sheridan. Yeah, Sheridan. You're wrong, you're wrong on this one. But I've seen both sides. Let me know what you think. It's been your boy TJ. It's been news at it's been the news at 121. And we out.